Two months after protests erupted, opponents of Ukrainian President Yanukovych refused to give up. They demand urgent constitutional reform and an end to the brutal repression they've suffered. The EU has strongly condemned the violence. There's still great concern about the situation uh, on the ground and great concern to see that those who have committed violence are brought to justice. Late January, an MEP delegation travelled to Kiev to assess the situation and hold talks with the government and the pro-European opposition. Back in Strasbourg, they've urged President Yanukovych to stop the arrest and torture of the opposition. I think it is unbelievable and unacceptable that in Europe today we have uh, still in one country death squads, uh, torture, uh, people uh, brought into the woods, killed or left wounded behind. So this has to stop, absolutely. Rebellions have erupted throughout the country despite the resignation of Prime Minister Mykola Azarov last week. Brutality by the anti-protest police, the Berkut, has radicalized the opposition. MEPs want to put pressure on the current regime. They've called for urgent action from the EU and member states. We have to prepare a number of target sanctions against the regime and against individual members of the regime. I think uh, personally on three things, banning them from traveling to Europe, restricting their visas, and also, most important, freezing their assets. It's unlikely that these measures will be enough. Ukraine has agreed to a $15 billion trade deal on bonds with Russia and a 30% discount on gas. Aid from the West cannot match Russia's proposal. MEPs are calling on the EU, the US and IMF and the World Bank to produce a long-term financial aid package for the country.